What is good, everybody? My name is Chase Azarian, and you are here on the Film Bros Podcast. It's like my third time attempting to podcast, but it will be the last. I'm making the statement right here with my co-host, DJ. Or do you want to go by D'Angelo I'm, I'm or fir- DJ? First off, you say co-host. Roommate. Roommate. I, I fucking live with him. Best friend. I like that. Maybe. Uh, okay. There, there's, like a, there's like five that usually, you know. I compete. You, you could, I give, compete. In, give in the day. At yeah. least... You put me up there, though. Yeah, for now. Okay. We'll see. Well, DJ and I, we talk about movies all the time. So does our roommate, Adam. He's going to be on the podcast eventually when I could afford... Let alone... We don't even have two microphones yet. When I, we could afford three. We got Adam on here, for sure. True. But I was like, you know what? I had this hanging with his Aryan podcast, and I really just don't like interviewing people. It's just not what I can do. I, I like hearing myself talk. It's a very narcissistic tendency that I have. And I like talking about movies the most because I feel like that's what I know the most about. I know a lot about weight loss. I know a decent amount about business. But I fail at business, gain like 10 pounds. That It's coming back off. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep it with the movies for now. So the plan is uh, you're seeing this on a Tuesday. We're going to experiment with Tuesday, Monday, Sunday to see when most people want to tune in. But the idea is we go and see the biggest movies of the weekend. Sometimes it's a TV show. We'll see. And we talk about it full-on spoilers every single time. So it's like we're discussing the movie like you saw the movie with us. Yeah. We'll start with the most popular movie, make our way to the lesser-known movie, the more indie movie. And uh, I'm excited to talk about both this week. DJ's all... Why are you laughing, DJ? Because I just want to talk about Titan, bro. <laughs> we do got Titan on deck Listen, today. Listen, we've been meaning to film this for what? Uh, four days? Four or five days. I have... I have fucking thoughts. Right. I have comments. And I've been holding them, trying not to forget them. But you can't forget what you, you saw in this movie. Him. And what he said, if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this review. Because we're going to... We're about to break this shit apart. So, c- continue, continue. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's much else to say other than... We'll, we'll come up with a set schedule. I'm starting to think maybe Sunday will be the best day to post these. Just because I feel like most people that want to see the movies will see them Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm. Post Sunday. Tuesday might be a little too late, but that's what the beginning phase is all about. So, this week we had Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. What a film to start off uh, uh-huh. this podcast with. Uh, another reason I actually wanted DJ to be my second guy is because DJ is a loyal, loves to let people know, a Marvel fan. You know, you grew up with the comics. Correct me if I'm wrong at any point. No, absolutely right. You, you grew up with them. You know your shit. And that's why when I don't like the Marvel stuff, because I'm not necessarily big on the superhero thing right now, DJs, you're like, yo, dude, you, you got this to look forward to, though. They're, they're implying this. So it is, such a, it, is, it is such a downer <laughs> when we see a Marvel movie and I'm, I'm going off the walls bonkers on it. And then I'm here with Chase and Chase is <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> it is the most upsetting thing. And I, I um, as Chase... I love filmmaking as well, which is why we like came up with this, and I appreciate you having me on. Of course. Um, kind of like co-hosting this. And something else to, that's valid to bring up is whenever we see a movie, usually, like 80% of the time, we have different tastes in films. And so we, we'll like clash. So we're like, hey, we got to just put this on camera. So there will be times when we do clash. I think for the most part with these two, I think we might be on the same wavelength. Similar enough. S- yeah. Similar. But, you know, it, it'll still be interesting to discuss, like, the different points that we like and don't like. Um, but a good example is Marvel's Venom, which we'll, we'll, we'll get into. Let's, get, let's get right into it. So, okay. the original Venom. Mm. So, this is technically not the MCU. This is Sony because they have the rights to all the Spider-Man stuff at the moment mm. if Stanley's family doesn't win that lawsuit. But Venom, <laughs> when I saw the trailer, I said, "Oh, this is going to be probably the worst movie I've ever seen." It, it just looked very bad. I don't know much about Venom other than I liked Spider-Man 3 as a kid. So, that's the only thing. OG. Only thing I knew about him and he mm-hmm. looked cool. But I just the way they were pitching it with like this buddy rom-com type thing with Tom Hardy. I was like, this is a very bad idea. And I saw it, and I was like, this is not the worst thing in the world, but it's still pretty bad. And I, I, I usually say, like, it's not for me, and it's definitely not for me, mm. but I still would also say it's still very bad. But 
DJ's the Marvel fan. So mm. what did you think of the original Venom before we get into Venom 2? The, the original Venom, I went in hyped as hell. It's, uh, he's my, he's probably up there, my favorite anti-hero. Um, if you would count Deadpool as an anti-hero. Um, Venom, I literally have like, uh, not paintings, but uh, uh, sketches in my room that like I'll go to like conventions or whatever and they've painted those for me. People uh, have like a Venom tie and shit. Love Venom. Went into the first movie, wanting to love it. Came out, absolutely hating it. Okay. I hated it so much because Eddie Brock, the way that they have it like formatted in the film, is Eddie Brock is just this bum. <laughs> <laughs> he is a bum. And he's not, he talks like a bum too. He's he talks like a bum. He he looks like a bum. He, he's just a bum. The whole movie, he's wearing the same fucking clothes. The whole movie. We're not, we're not talking about the first Venom review, but the point is, is he just looks like a bum, and then he gets a symbiote, which is Venom. Um, and they're very codependent on each other. And that's not how it is in the comics. Venom takes over Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock has a hatred for Peter Parker. Venom has an even more hatred for Peter Parker because the symbiote originally got onto him and then went to Eddie Brock. There's no Spider-Man, so I guess they were like, okay, well, how can we kind of alleviate for that and, like, make room for, I guess, a dynamic? And so they kind of just banter at each other, and it's, like you said, like a, like a buddy cop type thing. That's not how it is. So going into the second one, I'm thinking, all right, well, they fixed it. No! <laughs> it's way, it's, it's times two! It's, it's a more... They're, like, bickering, <laughs> like their fucking husband and wife. He's cooking for them and shit. Yeah, it's very bad. It, to spoil the Venom 2 thoughts, uh, I cannot believe the amount of positive reception I've seen. Did you see how much money this movie made over the weekend? It's making guap! Dude, it made like 93 million. And people are, I mean, I get it. Like, I can unbuy, not from an unbiased standpoint, because I can't see a Marvel movie and step away and be like, alright, how is it as a film? It's still shit. Mm. Like, for me personally, I don't, I don't think... <sighs> No, okay, no, no, no. The dynamic works, I guess. It, it's, it's good on itself. But as a Marvel fan, that's not what it is. But it's making money. It's making money, and they're going to keep doing it like that. I don't know how Venom... Uh, this is full spoiler, so... I don't know how Venom, they've confirmed that they're going to interact with Spider-Man. How that dynamic is going to work. Are they going to be cracking jokes at each other? I fucking hope not. <laughs> that's my biggest concern at the moment. Because... It, that's the thing about the post credit scene is like it's so awesome. It's for so dope. Three seconds. Theater blew up because well, you're like, oh shit! Like Tom Hardy's gonna be in No Way Home or whatever Venom Three. Tom Holland will be in, and then you realize the 90 minute movie you sat through, and you're like, do I really want that though? Do we really need Tom Hardy cracking jokes with Tom Holland? That sounds like my worst nightmare. Just doesn't sound like a good time. Tom, Tom Hardy cracking jokes with Venom, with Spider-Man. Dude, no. Are they gonna fuck? <laughs> Is that in the comics? No. No, that's not at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's like the only... Like, that's, that's basically what they're setting up, though, is like... <laughs> Venom doesn't do anything else besides flirt in these movies. He does nothing else. I'm upset. I, I was upset. I was so upset. So let's get more into like Venom 2 because the post credit scene, like, if, if you've seen it, it is what it is. Like, they're, they're going to be No Way Home. I'm still excited for No Way Home. Well, hold on. Whoa, whoa, let's back up. What did you think of Cletus Cassidy's Carnage? <laughs> uh, was it Cletus Cassidy or was it fucking. <laughs> what did you call it? Oh. <laughs> we, walk, we walk out of the theater. I'm like, what the fuck was his name? Cassius Clay? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Muhammad Ali. Nah, it, it, Cle what Cletus <laughs> shit is not nearly <laughs> close. Y'all remember you said that walking out? I was like, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> Cletus Cassidy. Cletus Cassidy. Cl Cletus Cassidy. Yeah. Is Cassidy with a K or a C? Uh, Cassidy's with the K. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Cletus with the C. <laughs> No, it's, wait, it's Cletus with a C and then Cassidy with a K. No, it's I could, not. I could be, no, that should be it. That should be it. Correct me. That should be it. Everyone that comes up with these comics should be thrown into an institution. That's not a bad name. If you spell Cletus with a C and Cassidy with a K, I argue it's a bad name. Regardless, I, I know going into the movie, I know you're a big Carnage fan. I know all these Marvel people were always like, well, wait until you see Carnage, dude. 
Wait yeah. until you see Carnage. Yeah. I saw him. Yeah. What's the hype? What? Well, why? Like, Woody... Okay, Woody Harrelson for one. Let me ask yeah. you this. Okay. Because, to me, it was a borderline concerning performance. Because <laughs> I really don't know... I used to think Woody Harrelson was a pretty cool guy. And I've never felt like such a 180 on an actor <laughs> in my entire life. Because he's awful in this movie. And okay. to in his defense... The writing is atrocious. Mm. And we're, I know I, I speak in extremes a lot when I talk to you. I'm always like, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. And I say that a lot. Mm. But you do. Venom 2 is up there for like, especially for the year. It's like the entire time I was like, why am I here? Mm. How did I end up in this Dolby Cinema watching Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage? And Woody Harrelson is giving a bafflingly terrible performance. But the argument against that is, well, that's just like how he is in the comics, right, DJ? Actually, Cletus Cassidy, they did a pretty good portrayal of him in this movie. And he was the one that, going into this, I was like, I'm not fucking watching it for Venom. They fucked him. I'm watching this for Carnage. So I went in. Not a fan of how old they made him. He's he, that that flashback scene where he was like kind of younger. That's the Cletus that I've kind of grew up on. Gotcha. So he was never this old. He was no. always. You got him right after he killed the grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't we get that? <laughs> why don't we get Timothy Chalamet pushing his grandma down what? the stairs? <laughs> why don't we get fifty-year-old fucking outdated, fucking old-ass Cletus Cassidy? Boomer Cletus Cassidy. I I don't know, but they I think they did a good portrayal of him. Carnage, they did not. Carnage has an arsenal of weapons that he can use. Like, the scene, I, uh, I believe I told you already, the scene where he gets the car and he blocks the helicopter rounds. Mm-hmm. He has a fucking shield that he can use to block those rounds. When he's in the prison and he's killing all the guards, he's killing all the inmates. Um, I mean, he's killing all the guards. And I'm thinking, all right, well, he's going to flip and kill the inmates because he's, he just, he's just unbiasedly killing people. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes him such a good villain to spider-man because it's like one of the first times spider-man is like oh shit like this dude's like rampaging he's like wrecking carnage whatever that's how his name came about they didn't do that carnage they did get right that venom is his father which (laughs) i'm interested i'm interested to see what you thought because it's such like a plot like not even a plot twist it's just like a like a 180, like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. That, like, oh, dad. And it's like, oh, it, it looks like they're trying to crack a joke and they just put that in there. But that's literally in the comics. Like, that's the dad. Anytime a symbiote comes off of itself and it gets into a, a new host, the original host is, like, its father or mother or something like that. It's in, in, it, it's segregate? In, integrate? I don't fucking know. Incest? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Do the other Venoms fuck each other and then make other Venoms? If you count, like, <laughs> it, like, uh, what's it called? When amoebas, like, when they split, when they, like, like that, they don't, like, a full on. Mm. <laughs> so we gotta wait till Venom 3 with Tom Holland for that? That's yeah, the issue? But, no, what the fuck? What are we talking about? <laughs> but they, they did get Shriek in there. Yeah, and then she did nothing. She did nothing. Yeah. She did absolutely nothing. The symbiote gets onto her. She's the yellow symbiote. She shrieked. Not in this movie. She's this the movie one in the dies. Spider-Man ride that we fucking rode. Like, what, three? three oh, ago? oh she, yeah, the Universal ride. Yeah, she's that's on the her? Ride. That's her. And they didn't do anything. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> I just dislike this movie a little bit more. Because the Venom on that ride is awesome. Yeah. And that's her? Yeah. And now we're not going to get that? She's dead. Because she's done. Because she's fucked. So is Carnage. <laughs> He's dead too. <laughs> Someone explain these choices to me. Because I because you would think after Carnage gets hyped up for however many years by these Marvel fanboys that oh of course they're gonna keep him around, you know? Because he's gotta fight Spider Man too. I forgot they fucking killed him. That's how bad this movie is. Well the Marvel fan forgets they killed his favorite character. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I t- I forgot up until just now. Yeah. I was like, we'll see him later. Uh, granted, 
Of course, they're gonna like resurrect them. They somehow. they would have to. Re- they could. They might resurrect them because the whole multiverse thing. Oh yeah, I forgot nobody could die anymore. Yeah, basically. Okay, Damn. yeah. So they might bring him back younger, new actor. Does Jared Leto bring him back? Morbius, the no. vampire? No. No? Morbius, to my knowledge, has nothing to deal with the symbiotes. Well, he's going to be in those movies. I'm, you don't, I don't you know You don't make why. a random... What is he? He's a vampire, right? Yeah. You don't make a random Spider-Man vampire villain movie and not connect it to your other Spider-Man movies, I feel like. He is a Spider-Man villain, but it's just so random. Is he cool? No. No. So why are we, why are we going to go see... How did this happen? Jared Leto's cult allowed him to be Morbius the Vampire, and that's how we got here. You've seen the shit with his cult? What? No. It's it's a real... Look up Jared Leto cult. He has a cult? They go to Croatia once a year, and they follow him around, and they all dress in white. Why? Why That's what I'm saying. What's What's the aim of the cult? Like, are they... They're they're just worshipping this? They really like 30 Seconds to Mars. I don't know. What's the world coming to, man? I'm yeah. fucking... Okay. Venom Let There Be Carnage is very bad. Uh, it's directed by Andy Serkis this time. Which I found interesting. Yeah, Andy Serkis, up to this point, I thought was a pretty cool dude. Pretty cool? A very cool. Okay. I think Andy Serkis is a very cool guy. He's done a lot of good work. I mean, he completely reimagined the CGI world to this day, which confuses me as to why the visual effects are... Do you think Venom looks good? You know, the more we talk about this, the more sad I get. Yeah. I I just feel like the effect, like the CGI... Specifically the burning house. The burning house was bad. <laughs> I forgot about I remember you house. saying, that's the fakest... <laughs> that's the fakest burning house <laughs> I've ever seen. But that was Halloween 3. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah you're right. See, so you're already movie. blending movies. It's I do. I see this for four days gets you, mm-hmm. but it still was shit though. No, it's it's very bad, and I would love to sit down and talk with Andy and see what he was thinking, because I didn't see he made another Jungle Book movie. It was the same year Disney made their Jungle Book movie that everybody kind of liked and it was pretty good. Mm. And then he made another one called like Mowgli or something. Yeah, and nobody watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was really, told I didn't. I, I really, Did you see it? No. Oh, because nobody watched it. Okay. Talk, I, if you saw Mowgli, do you remember it? No. No, I don't think anybody saw it. Not nothing against you, Andy, but come on. Because Venom Two. Here's the reason I think I complain about CGI a lot mm-hmm. is because we watch movies that came out like ten years ago and they look better than the CGI that we we're getting today. That's... It doesn't. It doesn't really make sense to me. Like, everyone's like, oh, the action in here is so cool. I'm like, there's one fight, and it's dark. And it's like, it's kind of the same thing as Spider-Man 3 with the fucking bells that they got going on. Is that just a comic thing? Yeah. Okay. The vibrations and all that? Well, no, like, you remember the bell tower thing in Spider-Man 3? Yeah. How that, like, that's how the Venom thing gets And then the, yeah. And you're talking about the CGI of the symbiote, like, doing that? Like, coming off? I'm just saying in general. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. The use of the bell. Yeah, any vibrations... I understand. Um, okay. But the bell specifically in like a church. <laughs> yes. That was in Spider Man 3. Sam yeah. Raimi's. They're doing it again. Oh, because it's a scene. The hell was that? <laughs> this the is bell. off to the grades. That, that, yeah, Andy's not too satisfied that we're talking about Venom 2 <laughs> like that. Uh, Tom Hardy's still insane, I feel like, for taking this. Uh, I mean, I'm all about like get your money. For sure. I feel like he could he could pull it off. It's just the writing for it. Well, I don't know the comic. Yeah, of what besides him being a bum. Okay. What? How is he in the comics? But what can Tom Hardy do at this rate? Like they've already implied, like you can't really make Venom a, a, a villain at this point. He's too goofy. Yeah. You can't yeah. take him seriously. Yeah. No. He's too far gone. So my thing is, are they gonna try and just? Well, I guess we'll all find out after No Way Home if I think Sony's going to end up just keeping Tom Holland and keeping everything and they're going to do their own thing separate of the MCU Mm -hmm. that maybe through contracts crosses over with the big Avengers movies. Mm -hmm. Maybe we see Tom Hardy in those. I don't know. But I feel like if Sony... Because if if Kevin Feige and MCU was taking over, Mm -hmm. I feel like they 
keep a couple of the jokes in there, but they go much more like, listen, Tom, you gotta fucking relax with the goofs. No, they're not gonna ease up on it. I know they're not. I'm saying if we were in a world where MCU where they did takes eat. over, okay, I think Tom Hardy's Venom ends up being just fine. We're not living in that world. We're living in the world where Sony's about to take over. And Tom Holland, he's already ripping enough jokes. Not not always the funniest jokes, but, you know, he's already doing it. Mm. And I think if you give him in the hands of Sony, we're going to have a fucking shit show of a nightmare. And I don't want to be there for it. I want to backtrack. Do you think Tom Holland's Spider-Man tells too many jokes? Probably, but I know that's the point of Spider-Man. I don't think he tells too many jokes. I think the jokes need to be better, though. It's got to be more like like the Spider-Man PS4 game we always talk about. I played it a couple months ago. Fucking awesome game. Amazing game. That's the type of Spider-Man humor that works, where it's like, it doesn't have to be necessarily like the funniest, like, I'm crying laughing stuff. But it's got to be like, oh, that was funny. Quick, witty. that's That's how he is. He was like that in Civil War, I felt like. Uh, Yeah. That's the most act. That's the most Spider Man, Spider Man we've got in the, in the MCU. That's what I'm saying. Everything after that, he's just bumbling around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, fucking, just, like, just like a goof. Yeah. So in like that goofball. sense, like him and Tom Hardy will have a good like buddy cop thing. Oh my god! In, in Venom Three, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Is going to be called Venom Three? Is going to call? It's going to be called Spider Man versus Venom. Really? You think so? Actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> It has to be. Are they if you don't call have it Venom Three, no Venom no Three. Way. Let there be Spider Man. You're gonna I don't miss think out so. on an opportunity to not put Spider Man in the title. No, there's no way. Yeah, they need that money. That They're putting that in there for sure. Okay. Venom Two made this much money on the end of a pandemic. It made like ninety five million. See, but I think it's weekend. I think it's a thing where it's like there's nothing else to watch. So fuck True. it. I did I'll get go that watch. first slot. It was smart because this was supposed to come out in two weeks, but October stacked with movies. That's why we yeah. kind of started this in the first place because it's like, well, shit, everything that's ever going to be good is going to come out besides Venom 2. Yeah. So let's just talk about Venom 2 anyway. But back to Let There Be Carnage, what, what was like the thing that pissed you off the most? What was the moment you were like, you know what? This is just not going to be working for me. Honest, it, it's man Eddie Brock in Venom, fucking kill me. When when <laughs> Venom, when Venom gets off of Eddie Brock, and then goes to like a fucking rave party, mm-hmm. and he's just walking around, and then there's a there's a part. I think people are making memes about it, and he's just roasting people, and and I, um, like what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> You're fucking alien, eight feet tall. And that's just not who he is. And then Eddie Brock is like, again, he's just a bum. And like that scene, and then like when he's cooking for him, and Venom's like singing and everything. Actually, granted, no, Venom does. See, Venom can be goofy, but he's sinister when he's goofy. Mm. So like there'll be times like um, like in the N sixty four Spider Man, or even the in the comic Spider Man's like looking for Venom, but can't find him because Venom's like lurking around and Venom's like Spidey Spidey like and he's singing no. something like that mm-hmm. he's not serial doing that serial killer exactly like yeah. serial killer vibes really like um, like, like bone chilling kind of thing and he's he's like teasing with his prey kind of thing he's not doing that he's fucking singing La La Land songs and shit and then cooking for Brock and then they're like bitching at each other like oh you don't you don't love me mm-hmm. <laughs> You don't love me. You don't. You don't think I can do anything. And Brock's like, you know, you always just ruin everything. I don't want you anymore. And they split. It's like, what the fuck am I watching? Yeah. What is this? It was the longest ninety-minute movie I've ever seen. But I, I can, you know, this is why I like that we're doing this because I would like to say that if I step away from all of that knowledge, that it would be an okay movie. But you know nothing about it, and you still didn't like it. No, it, I don't think it's an okay movie by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I think this. This thing needs to be executed from history, and we should never have to sit through another Venom, Tom Hardy version of this ever again. Okay. Like, this is as bad as it gets. I, I really do think, I had to think very hard. Mm. Like, I, I, do th- I do prefer the first Venom to this one. I feel like... Really? I, I'll never rewatch it, no. But off of first reaction, I would say I like the first one a tad more. 
it's a very low bar, but a tad more. I like the first one probably. Okay. I thought the, the second one was just more annoying and didn't have terrible Woody Harrelson, Cassius Clay in there. So is is that is that what gives Venom the first one and up the fact that uh, it's less what, annoying? W- what yes. made it annoying? Was it Woody Harrelson? Woody Harrelson adds to the annoying. Okay. For sure. But they also I understand from a if I was a business person, I was like, yo, Venom One made fucking it was like eight hundred, nine hundred million dollars. Mm. We're gonna do that again and just go all in more. So th- this is just like more extreme of the first one, I feel like. Yeah. In terms of more of the same goofy jokes. Yeah. More of just all that. Right. I don't want that. So I I'll take the one that has a little bit less of that. Okay. You know? Tom Hardy, like, eating out of the fish tank in the restaurant. Do you remember that? I do. Damn. It's yeah. been a minute since I've seen this movie. I saw it once, never saw it again. I'll never watch it again. Uh, I'm, I'm good on it. They threw in she venom. That's the best these people could come up with. She venom? That's her actual name. Yeah. God, you guys need to be fired. She- what do you mean, she venom? She venom. It's like She-Hulk. It's like, can you guys not come up with anything else? Basically, yeah. She-Hulk, She-Venom. Even if you did, like, hulk you know? That at least is, like, a tad bit more try-hard. That's, that's my thing with the comic book writers, is, like, they feel like they're in third grade. She-Hulk. These characters are made, like... She-Hulk. <laughs> you know, She-Venom. You know, you do make a good point. It, it could use a bit more originality. Yeah. But it's what we got, bro. <laughs> this is what we got. Is She Venom gonna be the third movie? Do you um, think we're gonna live in a world where we see She Venom? I want to live in, in a world theaters. where we get the comic book um, uh, Attack of the Symbiotes. That's what I thought this movie was gonna set up. Attack of the Symbiotes is all the fucking symbiotes just coming to New York and fucking up the whole world. I thought this was setting that up because we got Shriek, then we got Cletus, and then there was rumors that She Venom was gonna be in it, or at least they gave know. the one guy powers at the end. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know. <laughs> I I know I should know him because his name sounds really familiar, but it just it drew a blank for me, and I didn't want to look it up or anything. Um, but I feel like he has an important role in the comics. His name sounds familiar. I thought they were gonna set that up. So he had Carnage, the red, Venom, the blue, which he's not even fucking blue. He's black. She Venom, which the symbiote comes off of Eddie onto her, and then they fucking sw- swapping that shit like using him like he's a fucking rag. That's not how that works. It's another symbiote that just attaches. We have Shriek. Symbiote never even got onto her, but she's supposed to be the other one. And then I thought we were going to get other symbiotes, and they were just going to have attack the symbiotes. And then they even they even hint at it in the credit sequence when he's like, oh, the, the hive mind. So they might set it up. Um, no, I, I, I can't tell you about that. I was going to tell you about a future MCU film where they might introduce symbiotes, maybe, but no. I'm not gonna spoil I never want to talk you. about Venom ever again. It's just like, I thought it was going to be funnier coming in, and I was just like, this is sad. Know that there's, in some way, there may be that symbiote lineage and um, lore that might leak into one of the MCU films. I do have a theory. But, okay. Yeah. I mean, time we'll will tell. Yeah, time will tell. Time will tell. What's your theory right now? In ten seconds. So it's on record. Theory of the third one? Theory of the third one. Shriek is dead. Cletus is dead. Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man's, Venom's gonna show up in Far From Home. I think it's gonna be a post credit sequence. I don't think he's gonna be in the film. I would probably maybe agree with that. Like, yeah. he's not, yeah, he's not gonna be in the main movie, because we need an excuse to go and watch Sony's Spider-Man. And if we ever see the interaction between Spider-Man and Venom in Far From Home, I'm not gonna fucking watch, why? <laughs> but, do you think... The three Spider-Men versus the Sinister Six. They need Venom as a fourth guy. They need Tom Hardy. They the three Spider-Men need Tom Hardy to, to, to defeat the Sinister Six. Maybe horrible, terrible for a fan of con. No, please don't. Okay, I think the Spider-Man alone is like what? Mm-hmm. But to have Venom do a whole switch, he wants Peter Parker. You telling me? That he got three in front of him, and he's resisting not eating all their fucking heads. No, that's a no-go for me. I think the Spider-Men are good. They all go home. Tom Holland is left back in New York, but Eddie's right there. And the next one is them 
somehow fighting. Then you can finally get the symbiote to get onto Spidey. We get black suited Spidey. They're gonna need a villain for him to fight, which I'm sure they'll this use is longer one of the... than ten seconds. <laughs> yeah. We're we're done with Venom. All right. Point it's, is, yeah, Venom is finished. Yeah. I. What would you give it out of five? Are we gonna be doing this? Are yeah. We gonna be rating things. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't see why not. Fine. I'll be one of those people. It's a one. No one. A one out of five. Not a half. A okay. one. Half would be like old. There's a lot of people that like old. And I'm a little bit concerned for your for your mind. <laughs> and you need a little bit of help. But I would give it a one. I'm going to give this. Mm, I'm teetering. I'm teetering. I'm going to give this. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't. None of the jokes landed with me. There was nothing like spectacle wise about it. The writing was pretty bland, but I really love Cletus. And for that, you love this Cletus. I no. Then <laughs> I love what's the, the point. You know what? No, well, I give it a one and a half. Okay. I give it the half point. You're so nice. Yeah, I, out of generosity, so you could fucking do better. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's Venom. Let there be carnage. Let's talk about Titan. <laughs> Why are you laughing already? Go on, man. Go on. All right. Titan is, um... I'm going to look up the letterbox synopsis again. So I can I have see. a synopsis. Oh, what's your synopsis? Let's hear that. Uh, okay. Oh, you wrote it down? No, it's on my phone. It's on my phone because I think it is such a... F- it gets straight to the right. point. It, it's not shied away. Well, here's the, here's the letterbox definition of Titan. Following a series of unexplained crimes, a former firefighter is reunited with his son, who has been missing for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I would say, if you haven't seen Titan, I should mention at the beginning of the video, I always put timestamps. So if you just saw one of the movies, you could skip to the movie you've seen. If you haven't seen Titan and you're a fan of horror... That's all, I think all I could say without really spoiling Titan, I think you should probably give it a chance. It's better to go in knowing nothing, because DJ went in... I knew shit nothing. I asked DJ as soon as the AMC crawls going up, I'm like, oh, so what do you know about this? Because I didn't know anything besides it was hard. And DJ goes, I don't even know the genre. Don't even know the genre. I forgot what the fucking name was up Ti- until the, <laughs> the super title came on. So I had no clue. We just, like, we book tickets. We go see a, a movie. Um, Jay is usually the one who books the tickets. I'm like, fuck it, I'll join. And he told me multiple times what the movie was. And, like, who the pre- who the director was. All that. But just going into the movie, all that just went in one ear, out the other. I was blind. And then we watched the movie. <laughs> and I want to read you the synopsis that I have. All right, go for it. Um, I'm in a... A Facebook grouping on uh, I'm in a group on Facebook for A24 films mm-hmm. and someone described it this is the best way to put it I, I, honestly Titan is a 2021 body horror thriller film written and directed by Julia Dacuna I was hoping I don't, that know, I don't know the French names yeah. I know Leo my old roommate that's it it stars it stars uh, Agath Rosel Rosel as a female serial killer who becomes pregnant after having sex with a car. <laughs> Wild scene. So, I, I don't know how to talk about this movie because I think overall, this is how I text my because I told my sister we're seated, right? And my sister's a pretty big movie fan. She's like, okay, that's awesome. Let me know what you think. Mm-hmm. And I, I texted her and I was like, what? And she said, so did you <laughs> like it? And then I said, I liked it. But then in parentheses, I put a question mark on the end. I liked it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was exactly how I felt coming out of the movie. There's a lot of people giving it fives out of five. Five out of five? There's a lot of people in Letterboxd think this is one of the best movies ever made. I, on. Here's where I stand. Okay. I fuck with the first 20 to 30 minutes-ish very heavy. Okay. And it purposefully tries to be another movie after the first 30 minutes that doesn't really work as well to me as the first 30 minutes do. Okay. The first 30 minutes is one of the most batshit, uncomfortable viewing things. You have this chick giving other chicks titty twisters as hard as she possibly can with her fucking teeth, dude. One of the most uncomfortable... Like... 
<laughs> fucking Michael Myers would be tripping if he walked into a room with this girl. She is out of her mind. She's like stabbing dudes through their ears. With fucking a, ch- what, a chopstick metal? Well, chopstick? Whatever that is. I don't do my hair like that, so I can't tell you what that thing is called. But that thing does damage, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will really mess up a dude's day. There are scenes where she's like <laughs> taking out a full apartment of people with just this fucking chopstick. With the chopstick Bro, and the a whole- stool. She sits on like she kills a guy with a stool and then sits on his mouth with a stool. And I was like, yo, this is the wildest thing I might have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of wild movies, and this is up there for the most wild, and it's awesome. <laughs> and then she's breaking her nose. Yo, in I, a remember you, bathroom. I remember we saw that scene and Chase is like <laughs> I he was like, no, no. <laughs> And then there was a girl sitting next to him. And she, and she was, was like, like <laughs> look at the girl next to me. And I looked, she was like, oh my God. And we kept looking around. There's another guy behind us in a mask. He's like, yo. It was just like, there's a lot of people. I think we're the only people that went together to see this movie. There's like a room of like 12 people. Yeah. And 10 of them just came separately. Because who the fuck are you going to bring to this movie? Besides somebody you, you watch Imagine a lot of movies Imagine seeing this with. by yourself. Yeah, you got, you got something going on. I don't know what, but I, hey, listen, I go to movies all the time sometimes. Luckily, I found something like DJ that wants to go all the time, but there were plenty of times I was like, I gotta see this fucking movie, and I'd go by myself if my sister wasn't around, or like, one of my friends didn't want to see it, but luckily, I could drag DJ to these things and experience Titan. So she breaks her nose God. to make her look like a kid that was kidnapped 10 years ago. <laughs> Vince, uh, the character's name is Vincent. Vincent looked like, and then he looks like she looks like Vincent's son. And the dad's like... <laughs> the dad's like, I don't know my son. <laughs> I know my son if I see him. Opens up the fucking blind. Shh. A woman, broken nose, fucking hoodie. That's my son. That's my son right there. I shouldn't even say it. He, 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 was, he just nodded. He was just No, speechless. he didn't even nod. Yeah, he, he just was speechless. speechless because he knew. Yeah. This is my son. Now. At least, and 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 I I I did like that. I I like that it introduced that whole psychological aspect because I was thinking, just with how batshit crazy this movie was going, I was like, all right, so is she gonna play the son, and everyone's gonna be like, okay, yeah, like is it gonna just be just stupid plot armor? But you know, he ends up bringing her her back to the to his crib, and <laughs> the fucking dude is like. The one firefighter is like, like, this is my son, Adrian, and he's like, boy, you, chief, you okay? (laughs) Like, I know he's thinking it. He's not saying it. He's like, you all right, man? And so they bring him in, and you have, like, this whole dynamic between Vincent, who's, like, like, fucking stabbing himself in the ass. Like, <laughs> first off, there's full frontal in this movie. You know, it was the last time I've seen full frontal in a theater movie. It's been a while. I don't Venom know. too. <laughs> What's the last time? Because of all the shit going on just in that put movie. A dick in our fucking face. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh shit! Like they're they're showing it all. And so, well, you, you have something against dicks in movies? No, not that? hey, not at all. If it, if if you feel like it'll benefit the film. <laughs> Stick it up. If, if you feel like it'll benefit the film and the writing and the story, hey, I'm all for it. I, I, I'm not, I don't, whatever. They show this dude's bare ass and he's just sticking himself the whole time. And uh, I got what? It's like steroids? I would assume yeah. it's steroids. Yeah, because he's he struggling with the pull ups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have this whole thing going. And while all of this chaos is going on with Vincent hitting himself, steroiding up, thinking psychologically just he's insane thinking that this is his, like her son or his son whatever and then you have her being a serial killer doppelganging as, as a son if all of that wasn't like oh shit what the fuck is going on this chick is getting pregnant <laughs> breaking at the seams of her stomach metal and leaking oil throughout the whole movie in the whole movie, we're just watching it. Me. Uh, I don't know if you felt like this, but me. I'm turning to Chase at every moment possible. And I'm like, bro, if I fucking see a car tire. 
<laughs> well, pop out of well, the metal store. first showed up, I whispered DJ, I was like, is that a window? <laughs> yeah, that's I thought, yeah, yeah. I thought I it was like that. the rear view mirror. I couldn't tell. I was Bro. like, is it going to be a Honda? Is it going to be a Toyota? What is she going to pump out of her system right now? That That's how crazy this movie is because you keep forgetting that she's pregnant with a car. Despite her belly being so big. And she 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 I she binds herself and everything. I, 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 we're gonna get into like actually reviewing it, but I, we I just I've needed to get this out for days. She's like binding herself in like the crunching, like she's crushing whatever the fuck's in her stomach. Yeah. And it's it, it the the visual I will give it that the visuals and the sounds is are, are dope. Um, but it was just wild. It's just such like you end up leaving the movie and you're like. You, you, at least for me, like I know I liked it, but I was just confused on what I watched. <laughs> I I wasn't confused. I was more baffled. I think is uh, yeah. That's a, that's a better word. Yeah, yeah. I was just like because there's nothing like too confused. It's pretty straightforward movie when you break it down. Yeah, it's just the wildest version of that. But did you like the second half more than the first? Not even second half. I would say like. 70 to 60% of the movie is the firefighter dynamic with yeah. the, the dad and then you have the whole beginning section. The whole beginning section is totally like uh, uh yeah, I like the beginning uh the first act better. Mm-hmm. Um just because it's more like shock factor. You have like I mean you have the opening sequence of her hitting her head so she already doesn't like like her dad. That's how crazy this movie is. You forget she's in a car accident in the first two minutes. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that annoying ass little girl in the back. Yeah. I was like, yo, if, if oh my god. Well, I could tell DJ really didn't know anything about this movie because she's kicking the seat and DJ's laughing like, huh, like it's a yeah, cute like, little girl. It's trying to annoy her dad, and then <laughs> she hits her head. I was like, the what the fuck am I watching, bro? <laughs> yeah, that whole sequence, and then yo, you. Fast forward, and then you have the oh, uh, the opening sequence, opening shot after afterwards, after the credit sequence of the one shot. I think it was one shot. Yeah, the the one take. I was just the energy of the first like that. The first shot is specifically after like the Titan logo comes out. Yeah, yeah. Then, there like, we go. All that when she's like in the car area, and you have that camera going around like that. I was like, this is okay. This is gonna be like a four, four and a half movie for me. I think it's crazy. I'm like, okay, it's probably more like four. Mm Because I can't rewatch this. I can't. This is not going to be a... A lot of people are like, I can watch this all the time. I'm like, are you okay? (laughs) What are you talking about? Okay, I don't know Watch this all the time. You know? Like... It's a a great, like, October movie. Yeah, it's not a comfort movie, though. (laughs) You can't watch this on Christmas. At least I can't. I can't speak for everybody. But god damn. Yeah, no, this isn't a comfort movie. Yeah, she's got like the worst cauliflower ear I've ever seen, for sure. She's really struggling on that front. But I did like the char- like the first half hour I'm like, oh, this is one of the craziest yeah, so, coolest characters. So I've so seen. so you have that opening um one take. She's dancing on the car or whatever and then you they're given exposition that she's like a dancer. She's pretty popular. Yeah, she's, she's pretty popular. And stuff. She's walking to her car, this dude's chasing her. And I thought they were just going to do the twist of, like, she's just, like, paranoid. Because I, I don't know what I'm watching. So I'm thinking she's just paranoid, and he just wants to autograph, and he's going to dip. Uh, that's not what happens. He's, like, total stalker mode, and they're making out, whatever. I I don't know why, but I just could not see it coming that she just stabs him and just fucking kills him. And then he just seizures out. And I'm like, what am I? What did he bring me to watch? Kills him. And then I, they, she's taking a shower, and then her hair gets caught in that girl's. Oh, yeah, her hair gets caught in her titty too. <laughs> Two pairs of titties. This girl messes up bad in this movie. She was relentless with that. <laughs> I was like, is this gonna be the best friend in the movie? You know, like that she becomes close. No, just yanks her hair. Just, yeah, she just yanks it out. Like, oh Ooh, shit! And then. You have other scenes, you have the, oh, I, I don't know what happens in between that, but she ends up, like, making out with the chick, like, on the bay. Oh, we get the fact, uh, we get some background on her family life. Yeah. She still lives with her mom and dad, hates the dad, never talks to him, and the mom, she's kind of cool with, she ends up just She's kind of cool with her, but then she burns her Yeah, life. just burns them. <laughs> <laughs> 
So how cool were they really? I, I, not cool at all. Fucking not cool. You gotta. You feel like all right. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna burn my parents tonight. Yeah. No. And so that? she does that. Then goes to on the bus. If I'm remembering this, like in the sequence, she goes on the bus. And no, no, no. She's not on the bus. She goes to the apartment complex. Yeah, the bus is when she's already she's disfigured. Yeah. Because they think that she's a dude. Um. If she goes to that girl, makes her makes out with her, starts teething on her fucking nipple ring, um, then kills all these people, which I really liked. The stool scene, I really liked. Um, I thought it was creative. Yeah. I, I'm all about horror movies. Um, and it was funny, too. Like, what, yeah. The movie definitely knows like how wild yeah. it is, and it's trying to be funny, and that was like, oh, this is well thought out yeah. like, comedy. The um, Yeah, that stool scene was... Uh, visceral and I like the fact that afterwards like she sits on the stool I thought that was cool she's just killing everyone in this place and uh, what happens after that I think that's when she leaves no where does the car come into play after she makes the one dude seizure and then she showers again to get the phone oh I skipped over that shit okay you just blocked out of your life she takes a shower and then Get here's some dick. Here's something. Walks out full frontal nude. What? Sees a car. Hops in the car. And it's at this point where I'm like, okay, what's she doing? In a million years. In a million years. Never would have thought, okay, she's going to the car to fuck <laughs> the car. <laughs> really? You didn't think that? No. That would have been like my sixth guess. Nobody. Probably. And I saw the, after we saw the movie, I saw the trailer. The trailer hints at nothing of this. Okay. At all. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. I, I went to go see the trailer. I was like, do they do they hint at this at all? They don't hint at nothing about that. It's just on Vincent and and her, and it's all muted dialogue. Mm. So it's just um a, like montage shots. So I thought that was interesting that they didn't. I mean that I I, I fucks with that that they don't have the car in there. But yeah, she dead ass gets in the car and the car starts fucking beep like honking headlights going on and off. <laughs> fucking the hydraulics going off and I'm like what's going there's no way mm-hmm. that what's happening what I'm thinking is happening is happening uh, throughout the movie I guess that's the case she fucked the car mm-hmm. there's never any explanation zero just she got in the car had besides sex besides she has titanium and her then body. her belly when she started getting the belly I said no way Chase <laughs> is she pregnant with the car and then you saw the oil and then she's leaking motor oil. There's just so much. There's so much. <laughs> and it just... Now that second act... This is all the first part. Yeah. And you have the second part, which is her building this relationship with this fucking stranger <laughs> who thinks, that's my son. And it it doesn't really hit... Like, the, it's good, but it doesn't... It, like, it drags. Like, that's the best way to it, put it. It doesn't hit the emotional beats that I think it wants yeah. to. I think it... I guess it does for a lot of people. Because a lot of people think, like, that whole section's better and it works. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, it, I don't think... It's harder to emotionally invest in somebody that's killed six people in front of you and fucked a car. It's hard for me to sympathize yeah. with you immediately. Not saying it can't be earned, but what I'm saying is it does feel weird. Like, I know you had daddy issues, and you and your your dad, you know, don't have the best relationship. You did provoke him a little bit, and you did take off your seatbelt, and you did get your head hit. I understand. Let's not act like you were completely innocent in the act, mm. but that doesn't mean... You show up as Adrian, and you're like, you know what? I, I'm I'm gonna be good, you know. I'm gonna be a good. I don't there's know. There's so there's so much happening. You can't. Yeah, it's like oh, I mean, it's, you can, but it's sweet. Okay, she left that other woman on the fucking bus with those douchebags. How sweet is she? I don't think it's super sweet. The scene where they're doing the macarena. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I was like, okay, this is this is kind of funny. I thought that was funny. I thought yeah. it was it was very dark humorish. And the the mom passes out. Too. And then Vincent's like, oh my gosh, he croaked too. I I thought that was that was a good scene. That was funny. Yeah. 
Whenever it was... Whenever it emphasized extreme, that. Whenever it was violent, I liked it. Yeah. I'm usually not necessarily that person. You know, I'm usually like... I feel like I would usually fall on the side of like... The first half is just shock value. Second half, like, is this cool story? But the second half, like... I don't know. I didn't really care about the firefighter guy. I never, like, he never made me, like, want to cry. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, that's definitely the intention. He gets his iRobot kid at the end, I guess. <laughs> and he, he's going to be a, a father again. To a car baby. Yeah, whatever that thing was. Because his spine was lined with metal. Was that Ultron? <laughs> is this based in the MCU? And then Venom 3 is going to connect with Titan. I no. Oh to God, no. Can you imagine that movie? No, not at all. But don't you want Venom <laughs> to do? Don't you want Venom to be the guy that this girl was in this movie? Shouldn't he be that violent? Not psychopathic. Not psych- carnage. Carnage. Is that that yeah, click <laughs> Cletus Cassidy. <laughs> Cletus Cassidy. Cletus Cassidy should be that violent, that psychopathic. Mm-hmm. Like just like you know what I'm. I'm we we could fuck. You know I, I'm gonna kill you. Like just unhinged. Mm-hmm. Venom not uh, Venom that violent, but not that psychopathic. Okay. Yeah. Not that so, psychological. Titan was the better Venom movie of the weekend. <laughs> Titan is a better version of Venom. Let there be carnage. I said it once, I'm going to say it again. The more we talk about Venom, mm-hmm. the more sad I get. Okay, then we'll, we'll talk more about Titan then. We'll, we'll start to wrap up. Because the movie was supposed to originally be rated R. Why did they not make it rated R? I don't know. I think it would have worked fine rated R. Oh, like Cletus Cassidy just rampaging through the city? Yeah, but, rated R? But, but money. Money, you know? MCU. Yeah. I, that's, what, that's why they did it. That's what, that has to be the reason why. Like, they probably talk with Disney, and they're like, well, at some point, we, you guys could fuse with us. And it's like, you know, all right, we'll make PG-13. Whatever. Titan. Um, I think we really hit all the... I like the shots. I really like the shots. I really like the sound. Uh, it sounded like they didn't have a score. It sounded like they just had a soundtrack. But the soundtrack was banging. It was dope. Yeah. I really, I really liked it. Um, we didn't talk... We didn't get that deep with Venom like that, because... Venom didn't offer us shit. <laughs> you can't get deep. There's no dope soundtrack. There's no dope cinematography. The writing shit. And there's nothing cinematic about it. So that's why we didn't go deep into that. But for me, soundtrack, Titan, really liked it. I think I ended up sound hounding like two of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I like a song or a soundtrack yeah, in a we'll film. Be, we'll be mid-movie and DJ's like on Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brightness on down. Snapchat. Brightness <laughs> down. I'm like, I need this song. Um, the shots were nice. There's not a particular shot. The opening shots. Well, the incredible. opening, yeah. The yeah. opening was dope. But I, I'm talking more like... um. It all just looks very good. Yeah. The... the yeah, even the The little half. dancing sequence that they had in slow motion with the purple, like, lighting. And, like, I, 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 I like that. I like that it took some time for you to... For it to de-escalate. For you to be like, all right, I can follow. Mm-hmm. Because a lot was going on. So, I, I appreciated those moments. Um, the overall arc of Adrian that's what we know her by well it was interesting to see her yeah. go from serial killer it's like you said like it's it's like a totally different flavor that second half like it goes from like super super this to like um like a a relationship that's trying to be established but I personally think it's not doing its job just because <laughs> She's leaking motor oil. <laughs> so, it didn't hit for me. Like, I can see it hitting four people. Mm-hmm. I don't see this being a comfort movie, but I do see, as you're watching this, if you, like, fucks with di- that dynamic, it personally didn't for me. And for that reason, it kind of got slow. But aside from that, um, I don't know, man. Like, just, <laughs> she's leaking motor oil. Like, yeah. I, I can't. It was unique. I can't get a I, I can't get a handle on I it. I can't say I've ever it definitely seen. Definitely unique. Yeah. I it was one of the first movies in a while that I really was never completely sure which direction it was going to go in, mm-hmm. which made it more fun, I think to me. Yeah. Which is why I feel like 
maybe I would like it a bit more if I rewatched it one day, but I also feel like me knowing what happens might take away a bit no. from this one. Not for me. Would you rewatch it? You wouldn't rewatch it? I would probably watch it one more I time. I would for with, sure. With a bunch of people that have never seen I, it. Yep. Yeah. I would definitely like invite a whole bunch of people, put it on the TV, and laugh my ass off mm-hmm. at everyone's reaction, being like, Why what are we watching? Yeah. Like I love shock factor. I love shock factor, but to see it in other people's face, that shit would be hilarious. It's it it does its job. And it's so much shock that you kind of just have to like laugh at it, and I'm sure that that that's what they were aiming for. Like, they were they they were self conscious of the fact of how wild it was, so it wasn't taking itself too seriously. Yeah, like, and I I knew that was apparent. I knew that that was definitely the case when the old lady, as Vincent put it, croaked. Yeah, and yeah. they're doing the macarena. I was like, okay, yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I totally get it. So it's not a bad movie. No, no, no. I think it's far from a yeah, bad movie. It's it's definitely not I, a bad movie. I don't know if I'd call it a great movie from a storytelling perspective. I think it's there's a lot of technical stuff that's great about it. I really liked her first movie, Raw. I should, maybe not really liked. I liked Raw. Mm. I don't remember much about Raw. Okay. But I did like it. And I, I feel like... I think I gave them both three out of five. Okay. So I like them both. I don't love them both, but I think I'm. Every time Julia, I am got her name, Julia Ducournau, Co- Co- I, don't, I don't know how to say French names, De good. Quoi. But every time she comes out with a movie now, I'm going to be very interested to see it no matter what. Yeah. Because she's proven twice that she's good at making like pretty Unique. out there movies yeah. in the horror genre. And I feel like I'm somebody that preaches all the time, like, we need better horror movies, we need more original horror movies, some that are, like, way cooler, and she's been delivered, she's two for two, I'd say. It's hard to make two good, unique horror movies Mm -hmm. these days, and I would say she's done it. What would you give it out of five? Out of five? Um, I, like I said, I really like the spectacle, the spectacle of it. Just because I say that the second half drags doesn't mean that I don't like it, I would definitely rewatch it. Um... I would rewatch it actually to get more, to absorb more just because I feel like that whole first rewatch I was just so shocked I couldn't really take it in all take it all in um cinematography the music uh the killings I thought it was all good so I'm going to give this a 3 we're pretty much on 3 out of 5 I will say you you might think oh that they, they agree all the time no, that's far from it. That's why we start the podcast, because we always disagree. Yeah, you, you guys will see heavy debates. Yeah. This is, other than these two and uh, Card Counter, these are yeah. I, honestly the first three movies, Card Counter, we just saw about a week, two weeks ago. These yeah. are the first three movies we actually agree on. And are like pretty much on almost the exact yeah. same wavelength. Other than these three, I'm, I'm at we, his the, neck. We're at each other's We should have started with Suicide Squad, because we were fighting. Yeah. Fighting about suicide. Squad. I thought it was okay. You, you said it was great. I thought it was good. You thought it was great. You I walked s- out I, and you I said thought, four out of five. Th- this is why I want to do reviews right after the movie because then I saw it a second time. Oh, okay. I didn't, and it I didn't know this. It. Yeah. Oh. I went. I was. I went to go. My little brother and my mom wanted to watch it, and I watched it a second time, and I was like, okay, this went from great to good. Okay. I still think it's good. I still think it's. Bad. He thinks it's horrible, and I have horrible. reasons for. I can see why horrible, someone would interpret bad. it. I would say bad. as bad, but there are reasons why I think that they're good. And well, that's why we just have to do this every single week. So you guys will see it on record. Well, you guys will see it. Trust. Well, next week we got uh, James Bond and A Twenty Four is a Lamb. Planning on seeing both of those this weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, this episode will come out on Tuesday. So thank you for listening to the first one. Uh, we are planning. We're going to experiment. Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. Might do those three again. See which one we like after the first couple. And then we'll we'll let you know when we're picking a definitive date. Uh, I haven't made a graphic for this yet. I'll get someone to actually make a good graphic. So if you see a really shitty graphic right now, don't worry. There's a better one coming. Uh, DJ, where could the people find you? Um. Oh, uh, Instagram. I am, it's literally my name, D'Angelo Rucker, D-A-N-G-E-L-O, Rucker, R-U-C-K-E-R. It's brand new. Uh, so, brand new. Uh, I do a lot of vlogging, uh, so you can either follow me on my Instagram, you can follow me on my Facebook, which is D 
the apostrophe A N G E L O and Rucker. And my YouTube is D Shots, where I post all my full vlogs. So, uh, yeah, all my full vlogs on my YouTube, previews of my vlogs on my Facebook and Instagram. I do some crazy shit. There you go. Zip lining, skydiving, shark diving. I do it all. I do it all. He does it all. I would subscribe to my YouTube channel if I was still posting on that YouTube channel. That's that's also being rebranded. You subscribe to your own? I would, yeah. When I was making content. Mm-hmm. But, but I don't really make content on that YouTube channel anymore. You would subscribe to your own YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Would you not? No. You're not even a fan of yourself? <laughs> Why should people be a fan of you? I could watch it. Like... <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, I'm going to reboot that YouTube channel too. Not reboot. It's going to be something different. I've been playing around. I had to figure out my whole life. Okay? I had to figure out money first. Money's important. You need money to survive. And I was like, you know what? I want to talk about movies in this format because it is more conversation based. Yeah. And not me just sitting by myself. I like going back and forth with people on movies. So we're definitely it's gonna you guys are gonna see some good discussions. Just we have to wait for a movie where we're gonna be seeing movies, but trust, it will be soon that we're gonna I know we're gonna fucking disagree big on something. Out. There's a lot there's a lot of mainstream, there's a lot of indie movies coming out, so we're gonna have a lot to talk about. So uh comment down below if you're on YouTube, let us know what you want to see maybe different on this podcast. Like I said, we're kind of in the beginning phase of doing this. Uh if you're on Apple, leave us a five star review. Uh, I think if you get like over five reviews, your podcast starts to get out there. A bit oh, more. Okay. so we'll definitely uh, and just do it. Should this be longer, shorter? Should we have a timer? I did think about that. We did think about that timer. Should we have timers for when we do disagree? Maybe. Well, you guys haven't seen us disagree yet, so you we'll see. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Until, figure next, until next time. Peace. <laughs>